Good day, Admiral. I'm here to run you through the basics of the interface you will be using to control the carrier. Let's begin with controlling the camera. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To rotate the view around the carrier, move the mouse while holding the right mouse button or use the WASD keys. Perfect. Next, I'll cover moving the vessel. We begin by setting a waypoint. Please click the tactical map icon. This is the tactical map menu. You can see our carrier's current position, represented by the highlighted marker. To direct our course, you must begin by clicking this marker. Next, click your intended destination on the map. Vantage point one, our current goal, is highlighted here. Perfect, our course is set. Click the exit button to close the tactical map. To get moving, we must now start the engines. Click the carrier speed icon, then click the desired speed to begin moving our fleet. Please select slow. Higher speeds are unavailable for now. We're moving. For the time being, we must wait for our strike group to reach its destination. You can control the speed of the ongoing action using the speed controls in the bottom right corner of the screen. Excellent! We have reached our first destination. Traveling the seas depletes our resources. When we are out of supplies, the carrier can still continue moving, but we cannot deploy any aircraft. We will discuss the finer points of variables relating to supply use later. To resupply the carrier, you must give the order. To get started, open the order menu by clicking the icon below. Next, please click the resupply ship icon to begin preparing the order. You must now assign officers to the order. Officers' expertise in one of two fields, Navy or Air, is measured by numerical scores shown beside their portraits. To execute an order, the assigned officer's collective scores must meet the requirements shown on that order's icon. Of course, you have expertise in both fields, Admiral. Click your portrait to assign yourself to the resupply ship order. You can now confirm the order by clicking the highlighted icon. Now we must wait for the resupply procedure to reach completion. Let me remind you, Admiral, that you can use the time speed controls to speed up the action while we wait. Excellent! Perhaps we should increase our speed for the journey toward our next destination. To do so, we will need more crew assigned to our navigation department. Click the crew management icon to begin. In this menu, you can manage onboard personnel assigned to each department. Drag and drop two additional crew units to the navigation department. The walking animation indicates that they are still in the process of taking their position. You can also increase the speed of this action using the time speed controls. The units are in position. You can now close the crew management menu, sir. With the increased manpower in the navigation department, we can now reach maximum speed. Click the carrier speed icon and select full. Next, we must set our course. Open the tactical map and click our fleet. There is land between us and our destination, so we cannot travel as the crow flies. But we can plot a course of up to three waypoints by clicking on a series of points ending with our destination. Right-click a waypoint to remove... 